Ladies and gentlemen, we're back at Real Deal Talk with the man, the myth, the legend, Israel, the lamb lion, Bully. Did I get that right? Yeah. Bully. Welcome to the show, man. Thank you. I, I'm telling you right now, I watched your last fight, Epic 56, and I noticed you had a uh, Jesus on your shirt, and you were just the nicest guy. Yeah. Not in the ring, but you were the nicest guy <laughs> before and after the fight. <laughs> and I was like, man, I love this dude right here. So the fact that you're in the studio right now, man, yes. I'm excited about it. Are you excited? Too much. Look, look at him. He's so <laughs> calm. I'm like, are you excited? He, I'm like, you excited? He's like, too much. <laughs> I guess that you're excited, huh? Yeah. That, yeah. Okay. Let's get down, man. How, how old are you right now, by the way? Um, I'm 39. 39. Yes. When did you start fighting? Um... I think when I was like 16 years. 16 years old. Years, yeah. 16 years old? Yes. You started fighting. Yeah. How so it was no like, you know, fighting, fighting. Uh, I started first to to follow people who were fighting. Yeah. You know, and uh, but just up and down, jumping, training. Yeah. But since in the age of 16 years old, yeah. I was starting like, to go to the gym already. And where did you start training? Where were you living? Um, I think um, around 20, 25, 26, and then I started now to train. Yeah. Okay. So you actually started training yes. at 20, 25, somewhere around there. Yeah, 25 years. 20, 24, 25 years. Yeah. And, I started to train. and so where were you when you first started watching fighting? I was in my country. Which is? Congo, Republic Democratic of Congo. Congo? DRC, yes. Oh, wow, this is great. Yeah. When did you come to the U.S.? Uh, in 2019. 19? Yes, like almost four years or no. five years. Yeah. Ago. Yeah. And so what brought you here? Um, uh, first of all, um, uh, in this area of sport, right? I'm talking in the area of sport. So I came for the sport. I mean, in the area of sports. So I came for the sport. Yeah. For fighting? Yes. You Specifically, you came here for fighting? Yeah. I'm talking on the area of fighting. Okay. Yeah. So I came here for fighting. Okay. And your your parents still in Congo? Yeah. My mother, yes. Um, but my father died like when I was... Uh, I never seen my father. Oh. Uh, yeah. Wow. And so mom's still there? Yes. Was mom happy about you coming here to fight? Yeah, he's happy. She was happy? Yeah. He's happy. And she's proud of you? Yeah. Has she ever seen you fight? Yeah, he's seen me, but it's kind of like, it's not, when I say he's happy, he's happy because he saw me like, you know, moving forward, but, you know, he's, he don't like much violence, something. Uh, yeah. She likes to see you yeah, growing. Yes, but, you know, it's not much in the violence, you know. Yeah. yeah. And so how often do you talk to your mom? Uh, uh, sometimes like uh, every week. Yeah, yeah. You close to your mom then? Yes. Pretty close. Yes. yes. And then here, um, you've been here for four years. Yes. And where do you live in in um, National City? You live in National City. Yes. So when you came here, where did you start training? Um, like I have a long story. So I want to start first quickly. So I was in Congo and. Uh, I traveled to Zambia, Zambia, because I, I coming, I, I came here by walking, right? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't use a flight, so I came as an immigrant. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, all the country, I passed a lot of countries to yeah. reach here. Like I was in Congo, went to Zambia, trained there in Zambia, and Zimbabwe, trained there. I went to South Africa, trained there, and then I come to Brazil, I train. I go to Argentina, I train, and Peru, I train there. And uh, Ecuador, I trained there as well. And uh, only when I crossed Panama, I did the train uh, because I was in detention. And uh, uh, Nicaragua, then there I was in prison. Uh, Honduras, uh, uh, I trained in Honduras before they took me in the prison like, because I was coming uh, as an immigrant. Honduras I was in the prison, I didn't train. And uh, Guatemala, I did the train. And Mexico, I trained. And then until the United States, when I get in, I go straight to train at the training center. Yeah. Okay. So you say jail? You're in prison? Yes, yes. Yeah. 
um, yeah, all, all the country that I passed because yeah. I, I came as an immigrant. Yeah. yeah so I, all the country that I passed, I was in jail, in detention. Every? Every country. Because I came as an immigrant. So they put you in the jail. You stay two weeks, three weeks. They have to check you. Uh, your background, if you are not a criminal, when three weeks finish and then they release you, go to another country, they arrest you again. Uh, this is the way I came to United States. <laughs> <laughs> so you actually, you said you walked? Yes, I walked. Yes, I w walked. <laughs> literally walked. So, so it's a walk. They call it walking because you use board, bus, yeah. walking. Yes. Yeah, yeah, to the, to the United to States. here? Yes. Holy cow. Yeah, so it took me like six months from January 2019, and then I, I get in the United States in uh, July, something like July 10th. And, and where did you come in from? Where, where were you, where was your first entry in, into the U.S.? Uh, it was in Dallas. Yeah, I was in detention in Dallas, and then... After that, I used the bus and I came in San Diego. How did you know, like, to come to to, to California, like, to come to the U.S.? Yeah, what was the plan here? I had a goal, so I had a goal, so I learned about everything and I was trying to 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 make it. So that is why I say I'm here for the goal. And You're here for the goal. Yes. Okay. So what's the overall goal? My goal is to be the heavyweight champion. Of the world, the in world MMA, yes. in MMA, yes, and boxing, and bo <laughs> that, and boxing, and boxing. That is my goal. And so you've been fighting now. How many times you fought with Epic? This is your. Uh, uh, oh, this will be my second time. Second fighting with Epic. Yes. And your goal is to fight with, go further, like UFC heavyweight. Yes, UFC. That is my. Goal. That's your goal. Is the yes. UFC? Yes. Heavyweight champion. Champion. That is my goal. That is your goal. Yes. Are you gonna stop? What's gonna? What would prevent you from reaching that goal? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> no. Nothing. 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 You are not gonna stop. No. Until you reach that goal. I came here. All these journeys for that. So n no, nothing will stop me. So this gets me to my next question, which yes. you're you're kind of answering it, but I want to go a little bit deeper. Yes. So you train how many days a week? Every day. Every day, seven days a week. Yes. Seven days a week. Monday, no, Monday to Saturday. Sunday, Sa I'm on church. Sunday's worship day. Yes. You get your worship on. Yes. You get you get some Jesus time, yes. right? Jesus and Look. praise the Lord. You get into the house. Yeah, get the highest energy. Come on, let's go. Now, um, are you, did I hear that you were a, a pastor, preacher? What are you? Oh. <laughs> what? Yes, I'm a pastor as well. Oh, that is when you ask me a question, I say in the sport way, and then I give you the goal because I'm also a minister. I'm a pastor, and I have a church here in San Diego. And which church? Precious Name of Jesus oh, Christ Church. Precious Name of Jesus Christ. Christ Church. Yeah. And what's uh, where is that located? <clears throat> in National City. National yeah. City. Yeah. Okay. And so, do you do you speak every Sunday? Yes. Every Sunday. Every Sunday, and I speak on the road, I preach on the road. And uh, last time, I'm, I'm just back from <coughs> Paris. Uh, Paris? I went, yes. I went to preach uh, the gospel on the street and the train. And I went to Brussels and Germany. I did it, and then I came back here. So you went there? Yes, to preach the gospel, yeah. Who'd you go with? Did you go with anybody? You, just, you no, didn't go myself. 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 Yourself? Yes. Is that because God called you to do that? Yes. He said, I need you to go to yes. Brazil, Germany. Yeah. <clears throat> How are you getting there? You flying? Yes. She said, okay, God, I'll go. I'll go yeah. How do you know what city to go to? Yeah, so, you know. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> you need to be in. I think you understand. Yes. You need to be in <laughs> to understand. Yeah. That that the 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 word of God is in you, and yes. like so, would you yeah, just say you get all the direction, and yeah. So if you don't have a faith, you won't understand it. Right. Yeah. That's why I'm digging in here because I want people that are listening and and watching to to try to fathom. Yes. What you do yes. and why you. how you're led to go to certain things. Thank you so much. Okay, fighting. Yes. The goal. Yes. Heavyweight champ of the world. Yes. Okay. What um. So every day, I know that you want to be the champ, the goal, yes. right? But training, let's say, six days a week, worship on Sunday, yes. right? 
How many hours a day are you training, six days a week? So, you know, it took me a lot of time. Like, um, I do boxing in the morning, yeah. 8 to 11, and then MMA at night. So I train twice. Twice. And then when I finish, I just try some yeah, prayer from 8. I'll be with the church praying, yeah. So I pray. I, tra I, I train two times. Yeah. Morning boxing, MMA afternoon. Yep. Uh, and you get your pr you get your, you you pray in every day. You get the, your yes, prayer on. Yeah, we have prayer every almost every day. Yeah. Almost every day. Yeah, one hour prayer every day. Hour of Mon prayer. Monday to sa Saturday. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. All breakthrough is preceded by prayer, right? Amen. <laughs> hey, right. Yes. Come on, man. Let's go here. Yeah. All right, so give me the motivation. I know you want the goal is yeah. to, but what like what is driving you? Like what do you? I know you want the goal, uh, but through the three, four, five hours a day of training, yes. Who's pushing you? What's pushing you to move forward when it's really, really hard? Yeah. Uh, first of all, um, uh, sport is a calling of God in my life. Yes. Come on. Is it? Um, and I use it um, to present the Lord Jesus in that area. And uh, if I can say the second thing, that is the main thing, right? Yeah. But uh, what is pushing me, um, I really want to change where I'm coming from. Yeah, I'm coming from a sad place. And uh, I was always say that I have to do something different. Yeah. And, uh, uh, and this is the, the way that I'm, I'm really... God bless me with to to change, and I'm going to do that. And you said coming from a sad place. Yes. And what does that mean? A sad place means um, uh, I've grown up with a lot of difficult difficulties and uh, a lot of pain, suffering. Uh, uh, I'm coming from a very sad place, as I said. I don't know how to say that. It's yeah. a lot. So it's something that um, I was always say that I have to change it. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that is also one of the things that brought me here. And, you know. Because uh, you're, where you're from, Congo, your upbringing, your childhood, you, yes. you saw some. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah. So it was so, so sad. And then uh, I was saying that I, I have to change something and I have to do something. So I'm motivated to to change my story, also family story, uh, through the sport. Yeah. Uh, since I'm talking about the sport, yes. through the sport, yeah. Yeah. And so, <clears throat> so when you're going through three, four, five hours, you're you're in pain. You're you a got lot of pain. A lot of pain. Yes. Injuries. Yes. You just know that you're on a, a, a calling from God. Yes. Right. Yes. Like how. So, Go ahead. So when I'm going through pain and uh, my eyes is always focused to the goal. Uh, sometimes I cry and uh, it's pain, but my, I'm focused on the goal. I'm focused on what God told me. So, yeah. So Be because um, when you truly know your God calling. Yes. And you're living on purpose. Yes. Every you day. You don't see the pain. It, it, it ain't nothing but a thing. You don't, you don't, I don't see anything around. I just see the goal. That's it. Yes. And you know God has put you here for this reason. Yes, for this reason. To spread the word. Yes. Right? In the sport. The sport. Yes. That is why you see the t-shirt of yes. Jesus loves you. Yes. So where <laughs> I'm going, um, I'm taking Jesus there. And giving him all the all glory. All the praise. <laughs> yes. All the praise. Yes. All, all the, the glory. glory. Yes. Right? Yes. Uh, operating in not your power. No, right. No. You, you don't operate in your power, do you? No, I don't. I don't. I don't use my power. No, I have the Holy Spirit power. Come on, man. Yeah. And so, there's. Is there any doubt in your mind that you're going to reach this goal, the 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 UFC champion or the, the heavyweight champion of the world? Yeah. Do you have any doubts in this? So, but this is the issue. Yeah. You know? Um. You know, doubt comes to everyone. Of course. Yeah. You know, doubt. <clears throat> all those things come to. Yeah, uh, everyone. But if you you look, you know, straight to the point, you'll be always motivated. But I, uh, to answer you, uh, I can tell you, I have no doubt that I'll make it. No matter what will happen, I will make it, and nothing will stop me to make it. I'm I'm not yeah. doubting you for one minute here. Yes, because the Bible says, if you believe, then you see everything then is possible to 
anyone who believes. So I'm walking on that word. And with God, all things are possible. That's right. And so what about these guys? Cause you're such a nice guy, yeah. but you got to beat people up to get to this goal. Oh, my goodness. My <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. That's kind of interesting. Yeah. It's, you know, it's, it's a legal sport. And um, when I do it, I don't do it like with, uh, you know, anger. I don't, I don't, it's a sport. My, my heart is, 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 has nothing to do with anger or with nothing is happier. I just do it as a sport, you know. You, yeah. Yeah. So. Because it's a, it's a goal. It's a goal, yeah. For you to change your story. Yes. And to change your family's story. Yes. And the family tree. Yes. It's basically your job. Yes. It's a sport. Exactly. And these guys that in order to get to this goal that you actually have to beat up. Yes, you, 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 need, to, you need to do it. Yeah, it's gotta be done. Yes. It's, it's hey, it's business, Yeah. right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, Israel, I would love to dig further into your backstory, man. This is yeah. a beautiful thing, man. Give me, all right, so leave us, leave us with a, what's, what's the Holy Spirit telling you right now? I'm gonna finish, we're gonna end this, we're gonna land the plane on this interview. Yeah, so. Number one, let me let me talk about your next fighter. Uh, do you know who you're fighting? We talked about this. Yeah, yeah but uh, go ahead, I, go I, ahead. I, I missed the name, but uh, yeah, I, I saw his fight. Yeah, yeah. But I missed the name. I'm sorry. And I and I interviewed him earlier, didn't I? Right? Didn't I? Trayvon. Oh, yeah, Trayvon. Yeah, 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 Trayvon. Oh, he's a nice guy too. Yes, yeah, he's a nice you're both guy. nice guys. Yeah. Seriously, it's amazing. Okay, um, are you gonna? What's the plan for the fight? Overall plan. What, what's going to happen? You, you um, gonna take you gonna take him out in the in the mighty name of Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, I saw his fight. is is is, is a good fighter, yeah. and, and uh, I have a respect, you know, because he's a champion. You know, yeah. if he, he fight to to be there where he is right now. So I have a lot of respect with him. But he's going to to meet the lamb lion. He's good. It, it's gonna be. This is just another step for the lamb lion getting yeah. to your goal, right? Yes. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. Okay, Holy Spirit, what's he what's he telling your heart to end this interview? What's he saying? Um, Hit us with something. Yeah. So, you know, everything we do just it has to be for the glory of God, and you know, uh, we all have to be good people and. Uh, Always remember the Lord. This is the most important thing. And so I, there's a lot of fighters yes. that are not believers. Yeah. I interviewed a few today. Yeah. That like, I don't believe in none of that. Uh, and they're, you know, some guys are falling away from God. Yes. They're going to drugs or going to this or yes. going to that. Yes. Um, they're skeptical. Mm -hmm. um, but you got it dialed in. What, what would you say to them? Yeah, I can tell them that, first of all, God loves them a lot, more than they can imagine. And they have their own time. And they will come to the understanding of the Son of God, which is Jesus Christ. Yep. And God loves them. I think they, they will come back. No matter where they are, they will come back. They'll the day they will encounter the Lord, things will change. And does God ever give up on them? N he will never give up never. on them. Never. Never. He always loves them. Always love them. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Israel the Lamb Lion Bully. Yes. Um, it's been an honor. Thank you so much for coming on the show. I can't wait to see you yes. fight. Thank you so much. Thank you. Just so like, much. and I only know that you're a fighter yes. because I saw you, mm. but you're the, you're the nicest guy. This guy would kill me in two seconds in the mighty name of Jesus. He'd crush me. <laughs> Seriously. I, it's unbelievable. Look at him. Look how nice he is, but I know he'd absolutely destroy me. I got. I love you, man. This is awesome. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you once again. Yes. Real deal talk. Israel, um, the Lamb Lion. In the he fights in the mighty name of Jesus. He will not be stopped. Yes. The UFC heavyweight champion of the world. We've ca we're calling it today on this podcast a lot. Mm. I can't wait, man. Thank just you so just much. make sure we do another interview with yes, you. Yes. Thank you. I'm ready as you move up. Yes. All right. That's it. Real deal talk. Thank you. God bless you. I'm God sorry. bless you, man. Thank you so much. God bless you. Let's go.